Summer is just around the corner, and as the weather changes, well, so should your uh, skin care routine. We were laughing, saying we're getting sun damage as yeah. we stand out here, but a lot of us wear sunscreen every day, but uh, there's more to it. Sunscreen is really important, but uh, there are other aspects that we should look at, especially at the ingredients, right? Absolutely. Dr. Jessica Wu is with us, dermatologist to the stars. Yeah. So hopefully Happy to us to be one here. day. Yeah, <laughs> to everybody. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. You've got to check your label. So look for the numbers SPF 30 to 50 and look for ones with mineral ingredients, especially if you've got sensitive skin or kids because mineral ingredients are less likely to cause allergic reactions. So this Alba Botanical Baby mm -hmm. Mineral Sunscreen has all of those features and it's good for the environment as well. Yeah, the, uh, we had a story last week, I guess, that sunscreen has caused damage to the coral reef. Yes, it turns out that the biggest news in sunscreen this summer is that just this month, the state of Hawaii passed a bill that would ban the sale of certain sunscreen ingredients, including oxybenzone, that could be toxic to the reef. So. Stick with your mineral sunscreen so it's good for you, your kids, and the coral reefs. And is the minimum 30? Yes, minimum oh. 30. That's the number I tell my patients to look for. Okay. Well, let's talk about uh, people who have oily skin. What what should they do? Well, yes, using all that sunscreen plus mm -hmm. the heat from the sun, the sweat, it can break you out. So you've got to switch up your skin cleansing routine. Mm -hmm. For your face, use something like a muslin cloth. This is 100% cotton cloth. Mm -hmm. You can get it very affordably at Amazon. If you've got a little one at home, you can use a burp cloth, which is often made of muslin. This fancy one is from Sephora. Squeeze your cleanser on it. It'll help. It'll help dislodge any sunscreen particles. Help prevent breakouts. And these are great too. These are wonderful for the body. It's for good for mm -hmm. chest acne, for butt knee on yep. the rear end. Yes. Look for body scrubs containing AHA alpha hydroxy or BHA beta hydroxy acids, like the Skin Fix Renewing Scrub. It's got lactic acids and glycolic acid to help unclog your pores. Do it a couple times a week so your skin soft and smooth. What about the people that have uh, dark patches on their skin or rosacea? Yeah, well, it turns out that UV rays can cause heat, and heat can worsen rosacea and melasma. So if you've got either of those conditions, stay cool, stay indoors, turn on your fan. If you're outdoors, Memorial Day is coming up. What I tell patients, get one of these portable fans. I got these at the drugstore. Or even easier, take some cold washcloths and wring them out in cold water, stick them in some Ziploc bags, and put them in your cooler or your ice chest so that when you're hot, put it on your face to keep your skin cool. That's nice. Okay, so we also do live in the desert, so a lot of us have dry skin, and yes. you have examples for that, too. And be sure to wear your flamingo eyeglasses. Yeah, right. who, are, who are these for? <laughs> They're for you. you. Oh, my I'm goodness. For you. If you've got That's dry skin, stay hydrated. When you're wearing your flamingo glasses, stay hydrated. Drink about one half to one ounce of water per pound of body weight per day. So okay. there's your orange water and water bottles are usually about 17 ounces. So make the calculation for your body weight. On your skin, use hyaluronic acid for your face because it's lightweight, not non-greasy. And for your body, skip the deodorant or antibacterial bar soaps because those can strip your skin. Instead, use a moisturizing body wash like Dove Anti-Stress Micellar Body Wash. So it'll get rid of all the extra sunscreen and oil, but leave you soft and smooth. What about exercising uh, in the sun? Uh, a lot of times people recommend zinc like the surfers wear. Is, yes. Would that work for, say, my skin? Yes, zinc oxide mm -hmm. um, especially is, is especially good for if you're going to be in the water because mm -hmm. it grabs onto your skin yeah. and doesn't rinse off. So okay. zinc would be wonderful, especially if you like to work out outside so it doesn't melt off. And it's a great skin. blocker. It's a wonderful blocker, okay. yes. Okay, great. Well, Dr. Jessica Wu, if you'd like to find out more information uh, about uh, Dr. Wu, you can go to her website or KTLA.com. You want to support both of them? What do I have? Yeah, I just want to. I just want to point out, growing up in Florida, not everybody has these planted in their front yard. <laughs> okay, some do, but not everybody. You're very cute. All right, we're going to go to break, and we'll be right back. Thank you. Yeah, well, thanks. thanks.